Okay, here's test number two, burn number two. Going to try something a little bit different this time. Kind of show this step by step how I'm going to do it. Uh, last time I put the PVC pipe through the bottom and then one down through the top. This time I'm going to put that piece of pipe in that I did before. It's a two inch pipe and that's a three quarter inch flat washer with some expanded metal on the end. That expanded metal is not there for any reason for this test. It's just there. But I'm going to put that in and I'm going to leave it in on this test. So I won't be pulling that out but I'll put the plastic pipe up on top. I'll stick it so it's about centered in there. So what I'm going to use, I got just regular old sawdust here, pretty fine. And then I've got some chips out of my wood chipper. I'm going to mix with that. Let's use that. Got a gallon jug there. I cut the bottom out. I'm going to use for a scoop. And then I'll put that in this plastic bag here and mix my vegetable oil in with it. So I'll pause out right here and when I get ready I'll pause back in. Okay I got those wood chip uh, bags mixed in there so let's see how this all works. Scoop of that. Pour it in there. And go with three there, and then I'll pour all oh, about three cups or whatever, two cups. In there, and take the bag. And then I'll just toss around, shake and bake style. I'm doing this one handed so it makes for bad videos and bad. <laughs> coordination I'm trying to watch the screen and what I'm doing not a very good multitasker I guess all right I'll finish mixing this up and pause back in when I get ready to put it in a five gallon can okay I got the last bag show you a little trick that I do that kind of helps on uh, keeping the mess down. Put the bag down in there. I usually use a smaller bag, but this was the last of the sawdust in this bag. And just start picking it up in the open end, it'll come out. it around smaller bag it's a lot easier this was a big bag you get that in there and I use a sledgehammer to Tamp it down good and tight, as tight as you can get.
ran out of sawdust on this one. A little bit less than the first burn. If you watched my first video. If you didn't see that, go back and watch that one. It was an 18 hour burn. It actually stayed hot for four hours after before I could pick it up and handle it. Alright, I'm sure you guys are getting bored of watching me do this. Because I'm getting tired of doing this. So, let me check, make sure it's still in view of the camera. Then I'm going to put that metal lid back on. ashes from the first burn to seal around the outside edge. piece back in that we talked about. Just like that. Well, that's probably piss poor video. Anyway, I put that uh, left that two inch piece in there. And it's just poking down there at the bottom. So I'll pause out here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in my wood stove tonight and test it in my wood stove. So I'll pause out here and pause back in when I get it all going. Okay, I'm getting ready to light this up. I pulled that. Uh, two inch piece of pipe out to get it lit and then I'll stick it back in there we'll see how things go use the propane torch to light it up just for ease So yeah, all that noise wasn't rocket stove, it was the propane torch. You know, let it get it going there a little bit. Then I'll stick that tube in. Let's see if I can 
clean out that bottom just a little bit. Add a little cave in. Try it while well, I got you on the camera. All right, that's in there, so we'll pause out here and it's uh, five minutes after eight. So I'll time this and see what kind of burnout I get out of this. Okay, it's been just about two hours. It's 10 o'clock. What's going on? I stuck a piece of two inch pipe in there with no restriction on it. You can see down in there. It's warming the stove up. Can't hold my hand on the top of it now. I don't think it's hot enough to boil water yet. I'll drop a little bit on and see. I don't think so, but. No. Not yet. Go ahead and open it up and look inside. There's the other piece. I took it out and just put a straight piece of two inch pipe in there. Two inch exhaust pipe you can get at your parts store, O'Reilly or AutoZone. Something like that. But that's what I've got so far, so I'll pause out here and pause back in later. Okay, it's been 12 hours. I'll go ahead and open up the door. See up in there, it's still pretty bright, or glowing, I should say. Let's see if we can get a look up in there with a the mirror. Blowing pretty good. It's got some sawdust on the sides. Not don't feel super hot. No flames. Let's give it a temperature test. Six. Not too bad, not too shabby. Alright, I'll check back in if anything new happens. Okay, it's been 12 hours and about 10 minutes. So you can see down in there, got some cinders dropping and Occasionally up there you'll see some coming up. It does have a little bit of 
draw or velocity up through there that I just wanted to take a temperature of the side of that. Two thirty-two. Splash a little water on there, maybe can hit here at sizzle. It's still pretty hot, so doesn't look like it, but it is. All right, I'll pause out. Pause back in with something else. All right, back again. It's been about 17 hours now. Actually, 17 and a half. I think she's about done. Still too hot to touch, but it's burned everything out. So. All caved in, burned out, so still too hot to touch. So there you go. Don't forget to subscribe, like, thumbs up, comment, and check out my channel. Thanks. Have a good one.